Hello, in this video we will be proceeding towards control structures. Now we have three types of control structures. So these are the control structures which controls the flow of our program execution. Now first is your conditional control structures. In conditional control structures we have if, if else, else if ladder, switch case default you might have heard all these things in C but anyway we will see these things as if you are new to the programming world even if you do not have the concept of C you can understand these things very easily because this is this tutorial is absolutely for beginners now the first one is conditional another is unconditional in unconditional we have break continue go to and return and the third control structure is iterative or loops in this we have for loop while loop do while and for each you might have not heard this in C but this is what they have included in Java as well as your C sharp so anyway we will be dealing with for each loop after we cover the concept of arrays fine now let us start with if now let us test this I'll just start visual c sharp 2008 now in this i am going to declare two variables and i am going to assign two values to the variables now i'll say new project uh, let's say if example okay now i'll declare two variables say i have a variable int a i'll just give the value as 78 and int b I'll give the value as 45 now I want to check which number is greater so I'll just write if bracket open a greater than b so this is my condition if a is greater than b then I'll display I'll say console dot write line greater is a just put semicolon now here I'll just write console dot read line now if you observe if a is greater than b it is going to display this message now I'll just put a breakpoint here and I'll press f5 and I want to check the value of A and check the value of B and then see what is the value of A greater than B value of A is 78 value of B is 45 then A greater than B should be true so A greater than B is true now if I press F5 or you know else I'll, I'll press F11 so that I need to see the program execution line by line if I press F11 it is going to execute console.write line greater is a just I'll press F11 so it should display the greater is a so now let us see the output window it has displayed the greater is 78 78 is nothing but a I'll press F5 so this is our result I'll just close this now I'll remove this breakpoint now if I change the value of B to 145 then what will be the output your output will be nothing so what is that I should do I should write one more if case here I should write one more if case if B is greater than A then console dot write line greater is B hope you are getting this thing now this is going to display the correct result 145 is greater now what does this mean if A is greater now I'll put a breakpoint here I'll put a breakpoint and I'll make it as 178 I'll just execute this 
now value of a is 178 value of b is 145 so a greater than b is true now it will execute this part then it is again checking the condition b greater than a is it necessary for your control to check why because if a is greater than b definitely b will not be the greater than a so it should skip this so using if we do not have that option right it need to check this condition then comes out of the program now i want it to skip this if you want it to skip this instead of comparing b greater than a just you write else now if i put a breakpoint if a is greater than b f11 it will execute the if part and it will comes out of the block because it need not to execute the else part now let us check the other way i'll just make it 78 and i'll put a breakpoint and i'll execute this a greater than b is false so it need to execute the else part so it will skip if part and it will jump to else part so it will display the greater is b so the greater is 148 so this is your simple a greater than b program with the help of if and if else conditional statements thank you very much